before I sit down. And we'll give you each one of these. So basically at this point I have not generated any financial statements, so there's nothing online. Thank you. This is basically just a discussion to have with you guys to propose a to give you a list of the different Warren articles that Fred and I will hopefully be coming, have set firmly for next week and be coming to you guys, asking you to vote to carry that list of Warren articles forward. I also attached there um, the end of year purchase orders. Fred and I still, we ended up getting bombarded with a few other issues today, so we didn't have time to sit and go through this, but this is my best pass at it. I need to sit with Fred, make sure that he and I are in agreement. These will be the purchase orders that need to be brought forward by the Board of Selectmen. Um, and then I did a quick run through of numbers for end of year, and I'll just kind of run through that. I just didn't generate a financial report, so there won't be a, it won't be posted online yet. That will hopefully be done by the end of this week for my first pass. But basically, we still have bills to be paid. No one at home ha probably has all of their bills and we're a town. So today in the mail, we got a stack of electric bills like this big. So we still have bills to be paid. But after our second payables in 18, which were 2017 bills, we look to have about $438,746. I also have to do journal entries for a crew payroll that totaled 206256 So that would leave us being underspent by approximately $232,490. However, when you look at the different Warren articles that we're um, going to be proposing that we carry forward next week, you're going to be turning back to the unassigned fund balance about $161,472, which would leave us with about a net under expenditures of $393,962. So when I was talking to Regina earlier, the question was asked to me last week at the public hearing. I'm still going to stick with at this point that we're going to end the year. My hope is to end the year with expenditures being underspent anywhere between three and 500000 That's a big number, but it's not a big number when you're looking at like a $27 million budget. So um, that's kind of where we are at. We just put me on the agenda so you guys can kind of have our first little discussion. People, everyone's asking, you know, where are we? We're getting there, but it does take time for us to get all of the bills paid and get you guys good numbers. So that's just kind of where we're at. Um, you guys will have time to look at this Warren article list. That way if you have questions, because a lot of times you get those the night that you're voting on it, but now you have them for a week, you can look at those. And then the list of the open purchase orders. And as soon as Fred and I have a chance to review it, I will generate them once again and send them out to you guys. But that looks like to be where we will be at uh, for Warren articles and pur open purchase orders for the end of the year. Very good. Uh, Regina? Um, no questions. Thank you very Rusty? much. No questions. Uh, no questions. Good job. Uh, good job. Can I bring up another thing that's not on your agenda? No. Okay. Yes, you can. <laughs> um, the bond sale was last week. Yes. On Thursday, I believe. And so... We got an interest rate, I think I announced at the public hearing, the interest rate was 2.16 on the 10-year bond. Um, I have all of the bond documents because the closing date is coming up on the 24th, I believe. So you need all of the documents back. So if I could leave those with you to sign while you're uh, sitting here tonight, and then you can give them back to Fred. But So it was a $1.1 million bond, um, and it was a 2.16% interest rate for 10 years. Just to Super. remind nice. everyone yeah. what it was that we bonded. It's the Lafayette Road project. Super. So I have those documents here yep. for you. Do you want to leave those? That'd I would love to good. leave those. Do you have anything else now you want to? No. Okay, very good. Thank you very much.